everyone, welcome to Advice to Think Twice. This is Monica and I'm trying to get through your mid-monthly readings. This is going to be for Capricorn, Small Rising Venus. Um, thank you for being patient with me. Things have been very hectic <laughs> and I have not been able to stick to a single plan that I made for myself. So I'm sorry for the delay and I appreciate your patience. Um, the specials that I'm running are going to be ending at the end of the month, so something to be aware of. And like I say, keep an open mind, right? The readings are general. Watch all your signs to make sure you get all the messages that may pertain to you in these general readings. So let's see what's going on for Capricorn for the rest of May 2021. I'm using the Marseille Cat Tarot deck. It's, it's great. I love it. It's part of my birthday overhaul this year, thanks to my partner. <laughs> so we have Judgment, pay, page, the Knight of Cups, the Hermit, the Queen of Cups, Ace of Wands, and the Hangman. Bottom of the deck, this is the Seven of Wands. So with the Seven of Wands, The six of wands. I'm still learning the deck. The six of wands. I did get the seven of wands though, so I'm gonna take it. The six of wands, this is where you get your way with something, you get what you want, and with the seven of wands behind it, wouldn't be great if the seven of wands is actually behind this. <laughs> it's the page of swords. Um with the seven of wands energy, you get what you want because you push it. Does that make sense? Like you stubbornly push for it and that's why you get it interesting but you do have this sense of victory and getting your way and I feel like it has to do with keeping something as it is and that's what you want and that's what you're getting let's see so situation is the judgment card so with the judgment card remember Mercury is going retrograde very soon um, this can be people, situations, opportunities, even just thoughts and energy from the past coming back around. This can be for a second chance. It can be to get closure and release yourself from a situation. The challenge is the Knight of Cups. So we have water sign energy here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I, maybe the, the challenge is that someone's holding back. So you want this offer you want this opportunity, you want this situation, and th then this person is holding back. Um, and that's the challenge. And then with the judgment card, you have to make a judgment call in terms of do I keep pushing for it? Do I let it go? What do I want to do? In the foundation, we have the Queen of Cups. So it is around a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, whether that's their sun, their moon, or their rising, or it's someone who embodies a water sign traits. So someone who... It's very kind, very loving, very patient. Uh, can be a little bit passive, um, very nurturing, but at the same time can be a little bit closed off, right? Because the other side of the coins with the Queen of Cups is the Queen of Swords. So turning emotion on and off, right? Um, for others of you, this is where you've been waiting for this Ace of Cups. Right? And it can be with love, it, it can be new love, renewed love, uh, but it can also be with work, like your dream job, something that makes you completely happy, the, the dream pay, right? Uh, even like car, whatever it is, right? And you've been waiting and waiting and waiting. And either this person has been holding back, or this is your energy of waiting and having to be patient, and then things just moving kind of too slowly for what you would like. In the past, we have the Ace of Wands. I do feel like you had a chance at this. You had a shot at this. This is something that, for some of you, I'm getting the sense that something that started off as temporary, you were all excited about it, but you didn't see it going very far. Matter of fact, you didn't really think it through. You just took a shot on something and went for it. And lo and behold, lo and behold you like it and you wanna keep it in your life, whether it's a person, a job, a, a career, whatever. You want to keep it in your life because you like it, right? You took a shot with, with it. It was kind of impulsive, spur of the moment type thing, but then you like it and you want to keep it. Does that make sense? Crowning you, we have the Hermit. So this can be the energy of Virgo. 
but the Vir the Virgo, <laughs> the Hermit. I feel like I feel like for some of you, it's this water sign that also has Earth in their chart. You, the way you you see things, the way you view this person, the way you interact, and how you communicate, you see them holding back. You see them holding back, or you see them pulling back and pulling away. And with the Six of Wands there, it becomes about, no, I want this to happen. And you either blurt it out or you have a lot of like deep conversations, very kind of going in, into the detail of things. In the outcome, we do have the Hangman. So if your wish is to keep something as it is, you're gonna get your wish. Um, I do feel like if you're, if you're going for, I want more time, I want more time, you're gonna get more time whether it's again with a person with, with a, a job a role within any kind of situation but i do feel like you're gonna have to open up about what you really want this is also where you're gonna have to talk to someone who can decide so if it's a figure of authority, if it's a boss figure, anything like that, you're going to have to talk to him, be very factual about it. And for others of you, if this is about waiting for someone to come back, it could be something that started off as a sexual thing or just a fun whatever thing and then they kind of took off and you're hoping for them to come back you're we're waiting for them to come back i do feel like you might be dealing with a player and they're going to keep you waiting they might i get this energy of breadcrumbing right with the page of swords and the six of wands where it's about what they want when they want it so they're going to say some things to keep you there and then take off again do like tiny gestures that to them don't even matter but they know it matters to you so that you don't go does that make sense and it leaves you feeling very confused because you have feelings for this person but you also see what they're doing with the hermit you kind of see the pattern you kind of see what they're doing and so with the hangman it leaves you in a place of do i want to stay in this situation or should I just walk away? And I do feel like you're going to be looking at this and having to make this decision. You're going to be taking your time because I feel like with the judgment card there, it is a big deal. So it's almost like this is, it's almost like this is the last chance or if this was the last chance deciding, okay, is it really gonna be the last chance? I really wanna make sure um, this is what I want because when I go, I don't wanna turn back right if you're waiting on any sort of official communication I feel like it'll still be a while like six weeks it's not gonna happen this month I feel like it's up to six weeks that you have to still wait um, or give more information or submit more paperwork before you get what you want right So you're gonna, I'm just getting the energy of waiting, of just waiting. Okay, so just be aware of that, be prepared for that. If you have to make a decision, I would definitely, you know, take your time and try to be factual about it, try to be rational about it with the hermit. Don't let other people influence you either. But if it's news you're waiting on, especially of an official nature, um, or paperwork, documentation, anything like that. I feel like it'll be between now up to six weeks, more likely happening in June. Okay. So I'll leave it there. Hope it makes sense. Um, and I hope that, you know, if you are dealing with these energies, I hope the reading helps you. Uh, let me know what this is about for you. You know that I always welcome your feedback. Um, and be sure to watch all your other signs, right? Because you might get more messages there. So I'll leave it there. Have a great rest of your month. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.